Hello and welcome to another episode of Tool Talk. I'm Mark the Window Cleaner coming to you on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com. Now today I want to talk to you about locking pole tips. I've got the Ettore locking pole tip on the end of this pole and the Unger Ergotech locking pole tip. Now basically if you have an Ettore pole you don't really have much of a choice as far as uh, what kind of locking tip you're going to put on there. You have to buy the Ettore. Likewise, uh, yeah, the same is for Unger. If you have an Unger pole, you have to choose the Unger locking tip. So the purpose of this video then isn't which is the better locking pole tip to get, because obviously if you've got one brand or the other, you know you you, you don't have a choice. Uh, so really, what this video is about is compatibility. That is how it works with your existing tools, because maybe you have an old uh, Unger pole and you say, well, gee, I have all these handles there and sometimes they fall off you know I'd really like to take advantage of this locking tip okay well basically it works like this starting off with the younger Ergotech this tip was designed to work for the most part with all of its what I call its green handle family of tools so if you take a look at you know let's say this small vice versa here fits on nicely snaps into place this tool is now nice and secure you go up 30 feet up you can work with this thing no problem, no security issues. And that goes the same for most of its green handle assortment of tools. I have found though, however, there is an issue with the swivel T-bar uh, scrubber handle and that it will go down as far as wedging but not actually utilizing the locking pin. Probably because this swivel handle has a, a lock switch on it which means it also has a mechanism inside to lock the swivel in place and I believe that's stopping the handle from actually going down any further but still it's not really much of an issue it wedges on nicely so all around I'd have to say this works quite well with its tools it does what it's supposed to do and using it with uh, you know either my scrape master scraper or my triumph scraper any of the Ettore handles that I have no issues there although they don't utilize the lock and pin uh, feature of it they still wedge on nicely like a standard pole tip and even the wagtail fits on this nicely, uh, you know, again, not utilizing the locking pin, but wedging on nicely. So, you know, no issues here with this pole tip. It does what it promises to do, plus works half decent as a, as a standard uh, pole tip when need be. Now taking a look at the Ettore uh, Pro locking tip, uh, there are some compatibility issues. Now, again with the scrapers, they're fine. Um, the Triumph, the, it won't work with the lock and pull tip, but it wedges on nicely. The Scrape Master from Ettore will utilize that locking pin, so that's good. Uh, with the Wagtail, wedges on nicely. Any of the younger products, wedges on nicely. Again, doesn't take, doesn't take uh, use of the locking pin, but wedges on nicely and it's pretty secure. The issue comes when we take a look at some of the other Ettore uh, handles, the squeegee handles and the scrubber handles. Now, if you've got the Contour Pro, you're you know you're definitely going to have to get one of these locking pins because it works it works seamlessly. It's like the two products were were designed to uh, to work with each other 100%. Not only does it take use of the locking pin, but it also wedges on nicely at the same time. So this is 100% secure. Where I have had issues, or where I am having issues, is the Super System handle. Now I have this handle in three different forms. I have it as a squeegee handle, I have it as a scrubber, a uh, swivel scrubber handle, and I have the super brush system which also uses the super system handle. Unfortunately the super system handle isn't so super when it applies to trying to be compatible with this locking tip. doesn't make use at all of the locking pin but that's not even the big issue. The big issue here is it doesn't even wedge on nicely. It doesn't matter which position you try to put this handle on the pole, it will not fit on nicely at all. I mean, you could just ram this thing on and it'll probably stay on for a while. But other than that, it just seems to be catching on the last little bit of the pole tip. Uh, which is very unfortunate because as far as I, I know, I see a lot of people using this handle out there in the field and if you've got two or three products using this handle and you say, well, 
you know, that, you know, this has been great with my younger, or sorry, my Ettore pole for the last uh, few months or few years or whatever. Now it's time because I'm doing some pretty high work. I got to get a, a lock and tip. And you get that lock and tip, you go out to the job site and you go to throw this tool on there. And you go to do those high windows, you're going to be like, boy, this doesn't really quite fit. It doesn't, uh, doesn't quite work <laughs> like I was hoping it would. So unfortunately, um, that's an issue that uh, you've got to work out for yourself. You've got to take a look in your toolbox and say, okay, well, these are the tools I have. This is the pole I have. Would I make proper use of the locking tip that goes with my pole? Will it be compatible with my items? For the most part, I have to say the younger is probably more versatile. Even if the other brands don't use a locking pin, they at least wedge on nicely enough. Uh, what concerns me is that the Ederate isn't 100% compatible with its own tools. Um, works with the Contour Pro, great. Works with a couple of their scrapers, fantastic. But the Super System, not so much. Anyway, you have the information and uh, the choice is now up to you. Whether or not you want to go logging tip or not, and whether or not uh, you're going to have any compatibility issues. Anyway, I'm Mark the Window Cleaner. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out windowcleaningresource.com. Bye for now.